These adorable little flying saucers are your key to better internet connection. Nope, sorry, not these little flying saucers. These little flying saucers. This is the new TP-Link Deco BE5000 Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. And it's a mesh system based around the newest and fastest Wi-Fi 7 standard. It took me, and I'm not joking here, less than 15 minutes to get all three of these access points set up. And if I hadn't been dragging my video gear around my house with me to record the setup, it probably would have been even faster. So this new TP-Link system is a mesh system, and that is a system that takes one Wi-Fi router that most people have and splits that into multiple routers, or in this case they're called access points. So this one has three of those access points. You connect one of them to the internet and you can put the other two around your house with no cable other than the power cord. Now this also comes in a single unit and a dual unit, but I'm testing out the triple unit system. I live in an old Victorian house that has walls that are made basically out of plaster and chicken wire. A mesh system sounds like the perfect solution here because they can be put anywhere to increase signals, but I have not been a fan of mesh systems. And that's because with older mesh systems you would get better coverage by adding more of those access points, but it would reduce your overall speed to add them. See, the system took a lot of your connectivity just for those points to talk to each other. There was not a lot of bandwidth left over for devices. So in my house with older mesh systems it improved where I could get a signal, but overall there was no improvement in speed over just having a single powerful router at my internet connection. But thanks to Wi-Fi 7, that has changed because while Wi-Fi 7 radically improves the speed of your Wi-Fi router and its connection to your phone and computers and home automation systems, the primary benefit is that Wi-Fi 7 devices have a huge amount of connectivity between the mesh access points. That connectivity is called backhaul, and you can think of backhaul like a wireless cable between the access points. If the backhaul of data between those devices isn't fast enough, data moves more slowly between the routers and the access points. In Wi-Fi 5, the standard that's found in most of today's routers, especially the ones you get from your internet provider, the backhaul was about 100 to 500 megabits per second. But let's say that you have a gigabit per second fiber connection. That is 1,000 megabits per second. If the backhaul was 500 megabits per second, you would never get speeds above 500 megabits per second from your access points. In other words, your fastest speed would be half of your internet connection. So Wi-Fi 6 improved that, but Wi-Fi 7 takes it to a whole nother level. Wi-Fi 7 has a real-world speed of about 1.8 gigabit per second in just the backhaul alone. On the specs, it's higher, but let's say that's a good average to work with for your average home. That means that the devices can talk to each other with almost twice the data transfer speeds of your gigabit gigabit connection, so the full gigabit connection signal is available at each device. In other words, with the devices talking to each other twice the speed of your internet connection, when your phone connects to those, it can get the whole amount of internet connection off of the device, and so can dozens of other devices all at the same time. Another big difference about the TP-Link Deco system is that it has two ethernet connectors on the back that are 2.5 gigabit per second each. If you don't know what an ethernet connector is, it's the name for this cable that plugs in between your your internet connection and your router, or between a router and wired devices in your house. Let's say that you have a gaming PC and you want the fastest possible speed and the lowest latency to that, you simply plug that into the main BE5000 router and you're going to get a faster data rate than when you're connecting wirelessly. And like I said, setup could not be easier. One of the reasons that I really didn't like earlier mesh systems was because the setup was really difficult. You'd have to connect one of them and then you'd have to bring the other one nearby and push a button on the main router or do a lot of stuff with the software just in order to set up the second one, and then you'd have to repeat that again with the third one. But in the box there are three of these adorable little devices, three power cords, and one ethernet cable, and that's it. That's all you need. With the Deco BE5000, you simply plug the first one directly into your cable modem or your fiber router and wait until the light flashes blue and then just open up the app. You'll get prompted to connect to the device's Wi-Fi and then setup is automatic. It simply asks you what do you want to call the Wi-Fi access point and you're done. As soon as that setup is done, you simply plug the other devices in where you want them to go and it connects automatically. No buttons to press, no settings to do, they just all get connected. Now, since all the devices in my house are connected to an access point called Wi-Fi Make Wi-Fi Face, all I had to do was name this Wi-Fi access point Wi-Fi Make Wi-Fi Face and everything in my house connects automatically. For most people, connecting to your internet connection and setting up the devices is all that you need, but the software gives you control for all aspects of your home or small business connection. 
You can set up parental restrictions. You can control who can connect and how much bandwidth they can use. You can set up a VPN for work where you don't have to worry about privacy or security. You can do that directly in the software so you don't have to run secondary VPN software. You can also run an IoT network, which means Internet of Things, which just means your home automation devices. See, I don't really want my Wi-Fi enabled washing machine taking up a lot of my bandwidth, and I'm always worried that someone will use my Wi-Fi enabled light bulbs to somehow steal my data. But with this little private network that it makes for the Internet of Things, you don't have to worry about that. So I tested the signal strength in multiple places in my house, and it is excellent. With my previous very strong, very expensive router, I was getting about 600 megabit per second down and about 700 to 800 up while standing right in front of the router. But in the rest of my house, I was getting about 150 to 300 megabit per second both ways. With this system, I've gotten 900 megabit per second up and down on the same floor as my router and about 400 megabit per second on my second floor and, impressively, the same speed on the third floor. Again, that's all about backhaul. The first device is sending things to the second device is using that big backhaul to go to the third device, so I'm getting great connectivity everywhere. And remember, my house is made basically out of chicken wire with plaster, so just to get that amount of speed anywhere in this house is amazing. Now, one of the things to keep in mind about Wi-Fi 7 is that you need a Wi-Fi 7 capable device to get that full speed of the Wi-Fi router. You can still use older devices and things like your internet-enabled TV that use an older system with the router, but to get the fastest connection between them, you need the fastest Wi-Fi 7 devices. So for example, this is the iPhone 16 Pro. It's not the newest device anymore. The 17 Pro is this one already came with Wi-Fi 7, and most of the laptops and gaming PCs you're going to buy already have Wi-Fi 7 in them. And here's a call from my son on Wi-Fi. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes, but uh, remember I'm recording a video, so don't yeah. yell. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Hey look, a video call from my son, which connected really fast over Wi-Fi 7. So the Deco BE5000 from TP-Link has really given me new appreciation for mesh systems, and I have to say, the units aren't like the bulky mesh systems from just a couple of years ago, and they definitely aren't like the ugly routers with tons of antennas sticking off the top of them that look like a robot. These actually look good sitting on a table. And it turns out they do the job just as well or better than those robot looking routers. A super simple setup, some of the fastest speeds and best connection I've ever seen in my house, and setup that takes absolutely no pushing buttons. It just requires turning the things on and you're ready to go. That is hard to beat. Are you using a Wi-Fi 7 system or an older system? Let me know in the comments below what kind of devices you're working with right now and why you're thinking about using a mesh system instead. For Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss, and as always, thanks so much for giving this a try.